back to the channel. It's Aaron uh, and my cameraman Austin with Midlife Crisis. Uh, today we are installing a new MBRP turn down muffler. Um, I went with the the aluminized steel because number one, it's a little cheaper. It's about 210 bucks. Um, if you've been following along, all we've put the uh, throttle commander in. We or whatever the you know the pedal monitor really. Um, we've done the um, engine air intake now and with this this puts us at about seven hundred dollars in um, equipment that we've purchased for the vehicle I'll keep track as we keep adding stuff on and it's gonna get out of control because the next one we do is super expensive um, but so we're at about seven hundred bucks right now that does not include the cheap little decibel reader that I, I purchased so that we can see how loud the stock muffler is compared to after we put this one in. It does get a little bit noisy, but not obnoxious. I don't need it to be obnoxious. Um, real simple components. This kit comes for both the long bed and the short bed. Um, so it comes for the long bed. I've gone ahead and marked where I need to cut. Um, we've got to take about 13 and a quarter inches off of this to fit the short bed that I have. Um, you've got a couple of components. This needs to go over the bracket here and then twist up like that. And that'll get mounted on our pipe later. You've got, obviously got your turn down and it mounts to two uh, rubber doohickey thingamajigs. Let's get going. But after, before we do that, before we get to tearing out the old one, let's do a test and see how loud this one is uh, just stock. Hello and welcome to Midlife Crisis. My name is Aaron and I invite you to follow along with me and my son Austin on our journey as we build out a few camper vans and customize a new Toyota Tacoma into a beast. Then later in the year, we'll head out to Southeast Asia to ride a couple of adventure bikes through multiple countries, sharing the amazing experience with our viewers and ending our tour in Thailand. There, we will decide what to do next, maybe buy a sailboat and sail around the world. Who knows? So please hit subscribe and follow us on this adventure. Okay, I don't know if you can see this here. Maybe if I get into the shade, it'll be a little easier. Where is the shade? Is there any shade? Okay, so basically, as I talk, it gets louder. Hi, Austin. Hi. And we'll go back here and let's just uh, go ahead and fire it up. Let's get it at idle. see what our uh, so our minimum our maximum was 69.3 decibels and our minimum was 35.5 so let's tear the old one out and that should be fun we got to move the truck around and get everything situated anyway we'll be back with you shortly okay we're all ready to go we got our little man dolly down here we're up on the jack or I should say the truck ramps and just as an extra precautionary we've got a couple of jacks that don't quite make it I've ordered some larger ones but uh, for now these will be an emergency stop in the event the ramps collapse although they're one ton apiece so should be fine okay we need to go over here and make a whole lot of noise so we have this piece that we have to cut I've gone ahead and marked it And I'll have Austin film while I cut and it's gonna get super noisy so enjoy the music
if you have the short bed truck. So we're just going to clean this up real quick here. File it down and after that we'll get going on taking out the old one. Okay, let's go under and show you what's going on. So basically we have to take these two bolts off and disconnect it from this rubber coupling and these two rubber couplings back here and another one back there that we will never need again because our exhaust will come out right here and turn down in front of the axle. Now, one of the things I talked to you about was horsepower. And, and we had it running, so I wanna make sure I don't burn my hands here. If you notice on this vehicle, it's getting really tight here right now. Here's your first catalytic converter. Now mind you, you have another one here you have another one here. You have four. Come on, where's my light? And there we go. You have one here, one there, one here, and one here. Ridiculous. You got four catalytic converters on this thing. It's choking it to death. I hope I can get this off. on me. <laughs> My nice shirt. It's dripping, look out. Something's dripping. Yeah. Alright, let's get these rubber baby buggy bumpers off of here. Can you uh, hand me a long screwdriver? Hand me the long screw there that's on the bench over there. The yeah, over there on the bench. Thank you. that up sorry kicked you guys out of the clubhouse you attacking the viewers? I'm attacking the viewers yes uh, oh, can you see there we go so we're just what we're doing is we're just taking these bumpers off of here so we can have this thing fall on top of me no big deal you need me to hold it? Um, no, I need to try and find a way to get, get to this. You need help on anything? Yeah, I, my whole life story. I need lots of help. Okay, that one's oh, off. No. Let's put that back up there because we're going to need that later. All right, do you see that rubber bumper? Which rubber bumper? Up, that's holding the... Up underneath there? That rubber bumper? Yeah. It's holding this we, thingy? Yeah, we want to pull it off. Pull the bumper off. Uh, come on. Put some stink on it. Okay, hold on. Uh, just wiggle it. Wiggling it. Uh, if I pull too hard, my back's going to slam to that. Yeah, get off that thing, for Christ's sakes, man. If the truck fell on you, it's pulled you in half. Yes, I would. Do you need a screwdriver? What am I grabbing here other than oil? You're you're trying to dislocate that thing off of the rubber bumper. Now take that one off. This thing's fucking on there. I, actually, it doesn't matter. Let's just let's just wiggle this out of here now. Uh, that's all that matters. There we go. Okay. Uh. 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 
So obviously you can tell the difference. Stock muffler, humongous. New muffler, teeny tiny. So, all right. That's all those good, look at all that, God. Anyway, all right, we're gonna get it back up underneath there and get the new one installed. Austin, awesome. oh, never mind, I found it, it's right here. All right, so we're gonna put this back in, the piece that we cut the 13 and a quarter inches off of, and you're gonna wanna point it upward. So we're gonna bounce it this way. Um, oh, do me a favor, Austin, check and see if there's a gasket on the uh, other end of the muffler over there. A gasket? Yeah, a gasket, any right. type of gasket. Probably don't need it, but just in case there is one. What am I looking for? You're looking on the attachment side like this. Is there any type of rubber or plastic gasket on there? Uh, no. Or is it just solid metal? Just metal. Okay. Then there's no gasket system. Got it. Just checking. Always good to check. All right. Let's get our bolts in here. And of course, your nut is welded to the other side, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. Just hold it loosely, get it threads going, and then put the other one on. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Is that how that goes, Austin? Close enough. Close enough for the girls we date? leave it loose to wiggle everything in but I'm not gonna watch me have to come back and undo it now eat my words you just jinxed yourself I did I just totally jinxed myself I'm gonna end up sucking on it okay that one's not going anywhere How does that go? all right hand me the uh, muffler and the uh, bracket with the thing in it Bracket thingy. Yep. Just hand that to me there. Yes, sir. Ow. Everything's sharp. Everything's sharp, what we're dealing with. Yeah. Oh my Everything God. wants to take your life. It's like we're on the wild outback or something, you know? I guess. So that, that's going to go right on there and into that. Like so. Okay. And we got our little muffler. Oh, you know what? Um, Austin, give me the, the 15 uh, ratchet up there. Thank you. So we we'll put the 15 on here. We'll get this all snugged up once I get it on here. Um, MBRP. That is the flow direction. So, come on now. Put that piece on, then. Well, it should wiggle on there. Come on now. There we go. Right, let's let's try it your way. Fine. People raise them right. All right. See. All right. Wow. Who would have thought? We gotta loosen it back out though. Okay. Let me get this turned up properly. Turn it up. Turn it up. There we go. A little bit more. There. All right. All right. Let's get this little doohickey on here. Hold everything up nice and tight. This out a little bit more right there. That looks pretty good. Let's just snug it up a little bit. All right, we'll tighten that up in a minute. All right, can you hand me the turn down? All right, so now we got this bracket. It's gonna go on here, and then we've got these two 
that have to go up into here. So we gotta pull, turn those around, get that one in. Turn this one around, get that one in. Uh, there we go. Get it to where it's right about center in there. So it's nice and strong on the... I'm just pushing it forward. Yeah, get that all the way in. As it's much all... as it'll go. You want the persuader? Nope, that's on. Then we'll tighten this one up. Make sure you want to put your bracket right over the, the cut flange because that's what cinches everything together. Get back on there. Oh, it won't because it. I need the longer... Can you grab me the long yep. 15, please? Now, fucking metal shaking. All right, I ain't going anywhere. And that one ain't going anywhere. Neither is my hearing. All right, check our fittings. Everything's nice and strong. All right, easy peasy, rice and cheesy. And that concludes our lesson for today. Actually, I'll just give you a little quick shot of it and then we'll, uh, we'll do some decibel readings on the new muffler. But basically that's all you're doing is putting the turn down right before the axle. That way you get a lot of departure clearance from the end over there. So when you're coming down a rock off the back of the tire, you don't smack into your, uh, your exhaust system and bend it all up, screw it all up, wreck your shiny little tips. Anyway, so we've got the two stops here, the rubber gaskets that keep everything from vibrating. You got this here, and of course we've in, done our flange. Okay, we got everything uh, installed, put away. If you've been following the channel, you saw that we installed a cold air intake uh, prior to this, and prior to that we did a throttle commander um, type product um, for the acceleration. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video with uh, a test, a decibel test of the uh, new muffler that we just installed. Let me get this thing calibrated here. Okay, go ahead and fire it up, Austin. commander on now okay now put the uh, throttle commander on p3 p3 all right hang on all right let's try it again rev it up there you have it we're damn near close to uh, 300 horsepower now on our stock Tacoma um, Go ahead and let the emergency brake out, put it in gear, and let's slowly push the button in, pull back, pull back, push the button in, when you pull back, let me say it in English, grab a hold of it, pull it back, push the button in at the same time, and let it, there you go. Hey, I've never used Rookie. this before, all right? Is it all the way down? Yeah, yeah watch out, don't, don't Guns in the squish way. my gun. Well, no, it's the Wild West, baby. I carry a firearm. America. All right. America. All right, go ahead and uh, put your brake foot on the brake. Put it in drive and move it out of the way and then put the machines back in. Slow. Or drop it to the ground like that. That'll work. <laughs> Jackass. All right, get out of here. Come on. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us. It's going to wrap it up for us today. Oh, he's out there doing cookies already. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give us any constructive comments down below. We appreciate them. Helps us grow our channel. Uh, hit that uh, bell notification. Our next uh, modification coming up. <laughs> he's a nut kid. Chip off the old block. Anyway, uh, our next video will be uh, the lift kit. Now, this is going to be a three video segment because I bought a very extended Oh, the lighting sucks. There we go. I bought a very extended uh, lift kit. He's out there doing donuts. <laughs> oh, crazy kid. Um, 
Yeah, so we're doing the heavy duty springs in the back. We're doing heavy duty springs in the front, new shocks. I did not go with the reservoir type shocks because I'm just, I'm not that extreme. Um, you know, 70% of driving this truck is gonna be going back and forth to work. The other 30 is gonna be doing off-road stuff and goofing off and that kind of thing. Um, but um, we did do the upper control arms or are, are going to do the upper control arms, new top hats. Um, so it's pretty detailed. Uh, it's about a six hour job, so we'll do an unboxing, preload the springs, do all that kind of stuff, and then get into the front and then the rear uh, lift. Anyways, thanks for following guys. Kid loves you. He needs followers. Um, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and give us any constructive comments, please. Thanks. Have a great day. Okay, quick update. Um, after driving around the truck for about two weeks, the noise level and reverberation is too much for me. Um, what do they say? If it's too loud, you're too old. I guess I'm too old. Anyway, the reverberation, like when you're on the freeway, the just low hum just vibrates through the entire truck. So I couldn't take it anymore. So I went out and spent another 135 bucks. So now we're up to $835 total on the improvements. But I got this. And it is their 50 series uh, Delta flow. So it is baffled. So the air goes in and it hits chambers within the muffler and then comes out the other side. Whereas the one we just installed is a straight pass through um, with padding, so to speak, around the outer edge of the wall. So it kind of baffles it a little bit. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So that's it. It's just a, a black muffler, basically. I did have to make a couple of little modifications to make it fit nice and tight with no leaks. But that's it. And we've already fired it up and drove it around a little bit. It's much quieter. So there you have it. Um, if, if you want a straight through muffler, it's going to be loud. Uh, if that's what you want, awesome. Uh, if not, Get yourself a master flow. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and the update. See you guys soon. And twisty, twisty, turny, turny. There it is. Done. Grab the camera. I don't think I can uh, like grab it with my hands. Go underneath there. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Hello, people. This is why I'm smart. Huh? This is why I'm smart. That's why, that's why you get paid the big bucks? Yeah. He doesn't pay me. Now we're back underneath this death trap. You don't get to die until you pay me. <laughs> well, you can sell everything and you can keep my cryptocurrency. Oh, by the way, cryptocurrency. <laughs> getting just trashed this weekend. It's the first weekend and it's my birthday for f f sakes. Um, tomorrow. Anyway. Yeah, I've got like, like a ton of money in, in cryptocurrencies and they're just getting just beat to crap this weekend. Holy hell, I've got Solana and Avalanche and Polkadot. I got a ton of XRP. Um, XRP. And I've got uh, Matic, which is Polygon Matic. Um, those are the coins I have. I like those stable coins, you know, the ones that everybody builds their platforms off of. They're, they're more secure for me. But holy crap, $40,000 hit so far this weekend. But I'm not selling. I'm a holder. Fucking metal shakings. Language. Sorry. In the, oh in the kit, yeah. in the kit, in the ratchet kit, in the tool chest. Oh my god. Walking in circles. Bueller. Let's make sure all this stuff is on here nice and strong. It's going to hold everything up good. I need the long 15. No, the big ones, half inch. All right. That is all sturdy and secure. Just bolt it down and 
We'll be making noise, baby. I got two options for no, you. No, I want the long 15. Okay, long, long 15. Long 15. Nut, not extender. Ratchet. This doesn't look like a. Oh, hang on. We got neighbors coming in. Oh, that's Montana. How you doing, Montana? <laughs> Our neighbor from next door stopped in. Uh, yeah, we're just videotaping uh, a uh, muffler install. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll come catch you when I'm done. Oh, no, I, are, are we in your way? Do we need to move? No, no, no. Oh. I just came to just, uh, do a few rolls of paint on that now. Oh, okay. I was just saying hi, seeing what you were doing. <laughs> causing, <laughs> causing trouble. See you, Montana. Yeah. Have a good weekend. You too. That's our guy from next door. He uh, He's a cabinet maker. He's a great guy. Pipe, please. All right, we're gonna move you guys back a little bit so you can check out the goings on here. If you can see that, I hope. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you hear me now? Hang on, let's turn you up just a tiny bit. There we go. 